everybody, this is Alexandre of Angel Cartomancy and welcome to our today's episode which is going to be on creating abundance and prosperity with the help of the Lenormand Oracle. So as you can see there is incense blowing from the table because I've created there an altar that will help me attract money and prosperity and also um, I had focused it on a special intention. So I'm going to um, bring you on the table and explain to you how you can create uh, this type of altar and how you can do this type of work. Okay, so come on. So the first thing that you want to have is an altar cloth. Okay, so I use altar cloth to protect the area that I'm working because I'm working with oils, I'm working with candles, I'm working sometimes, you know, with powders and herbs, and oftentimes they, you know, they spread everywhere. And I am focusing on work and I want, you know, this uh, altar to keep my work, you know, in place, clean and neat. So this is what you would like to need. It can be as simple or as elaborate as you would like. You can also use, you know, uh, the color that you're working on. For instance, we are working on prosperity. Uh, you can use, you know, green. But I like this earthly color because I want my prosperity to stay and to ground there. So I'm using some kind of brown and, you know, earthly colors. So this is the third thing. You also want to have um, uh, something to burn your uh, incense. I'm using, you know, stick incense. So this is uh, a little bowl, and if you would see, there is a lot of ash there. And there is also, uh, it is filled with lentils. Lentils is for abundance. Lentils is for prosperity. Mm -hmm. So everything that you're going to use in this ritual is focused on your target is to bring in money, bring in prosperity, bring in abundance, okay? And you will also want to have, of course, your Lenormand cards. And here we have uh, a candle that I have already blessed, clear and loaded with herbs, with oils, and this is, like you see, a good luck and a prosperity candle. We will also need some uh, cinnamon powder. You can finally find these in the grocery store, you know, where there is all the spices and things. Uh, cinnamon is very good for prosperity and abundance. It brings in luck as well. And we're going to work also with crystals to amplify our work. As I say, we want the prosperity to, to be rooted, to be grounded. So we are using the earth energy. And I'm using here Adventurine, which is a green stone, which is really good for finances and money. And I'm also using Citrine, which is also known as the Stone of Abundance. This is good also for uh, money work. And uh, this crystal has been cleared and, uh, you know, I've cleaned them under the sunlight and infused them with my intention of grounding my prosperity of bringing more money and also you will want some kind of um, incense that is focused on again on your target you know this is uh, a money drawing incense that I found uh, in a shop it's really nice but you can find you know these kind of incense I'm sure in your country and you will also need a lighter to hit a candle of course and also you want to have a some kind of dish or a plate or even you know um, you know something to put your candles safely in there and also to sprinkle your powders so it doesn't mess around so let's start with setting up this uh, prosperity and money altar okay so we've laid down our altar cloth this is the very first step okay uh, I know that some people including me <laughs> like to you know um, bless the outer cloth and how I do that is simply by putting some sort of you know powders or magical powders or uh, herbs 
in water, let it infuse, and then just, you know, rinse my outer cloth in that holy water. Okay, so there is something that is called blue dye, which is used, you know, it's a very ancient product. I don't have that uh, with, with me now to show you, but the actual the, the property of this blue uh, liquid is to make white more white. It's clearing, so you can use that in your water, even in your uh, washing machine to, you know, bless and uh, uh, and um, bring more clarity into your work. So we have our outer cloth. Then we are going to actually put our plate. Here it goes. Plate here. We are going to put the candle. Okay. I'm going to use the cinnamon and I'm going to do a circle around my candle because I want, you know, uh, a circle of protection and I also want money to come in. So you just sprinkle your cinnamon around it. You can do it three times, you can do it seven times, you know, as you, as you feel. It's, it's something that you do with feeling. And each time that you are doing that, Okay, you must, you know, put your intention. All is focus, all, all is intention. Some people like to play some soft music, you know, but I like to concentrate and say like, Cinnamon, you are an herb for prosperity and good luck. As I sprinkle you, I want money, prosperity, and abundance to be sprinkled in my life. And so it is. So your cinnamon is ready. Now I'm using my stones and I'm just going to put them around my candle just to amplify, okay, this work. So I say, as I'm placing these stones, energy of the earth, energy of the fairies, there is queen of manifestation, I ask you to amplify the power of my work so that prosperity and abundance can come to me and that this prosperity stays with me all time, that there is money to spend, money to save, and money to share. Okay. So now we are going to work with the Lenormand, <laughs> uh, and I think that this is the most important part that you are looking forward. So with the Lenormand, you will be using, of course, the cards that reflect money and prosperity. So first of all, we are going to use the man, because I'm doing the work for me, let's pretend that. I'm also going to need the bear to bring some strong earthly energy in this work and it's also another money card okay so i will put it there face to face i am also going to look for the fish which is abundance where it is i've been through the deck so you want to choose at least four cards that reflect what you want to attract. So the fish there, I will put it on the top. And I am also going to look for, I'm going through, through the deck, I'm going to bring also the sun which is the big success and I'm going to put the sun and the key together. Now I'm going to put that down there. Okay, so I have my incense burner just there. Okay, and I will start with lighting my candle and focusing on my prosperity on everything that I want to attract in my life. 
okay so as your candle is lighting you can say uh, an invocation a prayer you can call upon the archangels to help you like ariel or um uh, or gabriel to help you with your prosperity and divine guidance you can also call upon the fairies the queen and the king of the fairies you can also pray uh, a psalm uh, psalm 23 is a very good one the lord is my shepherd you can you know focus on that and say your prayer or you can say you know like a simple prayer from from the heart like saying as i like this candle i want enlightenment divine guidance prosperity and luck to come my way help me create what i am wanting to create and so it is and you're also going to use your incense okay so incense are very good to uh, attract what you want to attract so i'm using here uh, a money incense it smells so gorgeous and you know just say as this incense is going into the air as the smoke of this incense is going into the air so are my prayers my wish and my intention just visualize the the smoke going into the air and seeing how you know how it goes into the universe and you know visualize your prayers going there and going to your intention so i place it in my incense holder just there that the incense holder catches the uh the ashes and so you're going to let your candle burn so this type of candle will burn more than 24 hours okay so if you are not able to uh, watch over the candle so don't let it burn and go to work or go sleeping you know because you never know with candles what can happen so what you can do you can you know pray again and let the incense finish it takes like half an hour or so i believe i never count but it can be so when your incense is down you just you know take a candle snuffer or or a cup or whatever you just you know uh blow the flame don't blow on it you know you want to extinguish the fire but you don't want to blow on the candles because in magic when you blow on the candles this is a sign that the the work is over and the work is not over you want to uh, reuse it so what you can do what I do with my fingers I just you know pinch it like that okay so when I have the time the second day or the next time that I'm around the candle I'm just going to again light it okay and when I'm over I will pinch it or use a candle snuffer you can find these you know or take um, a shed glass or something just to um, you know to extinguish the flame but not blowing it you don't want to blow a candle it's a sign of disrespect when you're doing magical work so I hope that the video had really bring some inspiration and you want to give it a try and of course before leaving i invite you to subscribe to the channel to post a comment in the comment down below and also to share these beautiful videos with friends that may be interested in creating a wonderful life by using their intuition and by using their own powers so till next time i send you love light and blessing and you can also find me on facebook instagram and online at angelcultromancy.com.